Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to series 14 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. Today's sketch is from Jessica Fenn Hill and it's got a lot of mixed media in the background. So I'm doing a bunch of mixed media, which is kind of making up for yesterday, which was mixed media mayhem day. And I did not participate because when I was working on all of my uh, stuff for 30 days, I totally blinked that that was a mixed media day. So you're getting your mixed media today from me. So I'm kind of just using a bunch of paint, not kind of, I am just using a bunch of paint um, from Dilutions. The red is post box red and the turquoise is a very good question. Um, vibrant turquoise. Well, that could have uh, been, couldn't have been any more difficult. Anyway, um, yeah, vibrant turquoise. And these paints don't come like this anymore. They come in a little bottle. Uh, these are really old. I've had them for a long time. And I love them in the pots, but um, I just keep refreshing them with a little bit of water because they do start to get um, a little on the thick side. But I don't use them all that often. So I want to make sure I, I keep them nice and hydrated so that I have them when I, it is time to work on work with them. So now I have pulled out some Nouveau embellishment mousse. Oh, I'm so sorry for that squeak. That was my computer. Um, I just slid it across my desk. And anyway, um, I am using some Coastal Surf, which is the blue color, and some red leather, which is actually Nouveau expanding mousse. Um, I've never gotten it to expand any further than any of the other mousses, but I don't I've only tried like once or twice. So I prefer for to apply them in this manner versus like through a stencil where they're thick and then they would expand. They're also a lot drier in the tubs this way. I just uh, rehydrate a little bit with a spray of water and then rub my paintbrush over them. And then I am just uh, dabbing it over this feather stencil, not stencil, this feather die cut. Um, this is a set of four die cuts from Spellbinders. You can see their turquoise sitting there right above the little jar of Nouveau Mousse. And um, I just ran them through my die cut machine. I have a Sizzix switch and I just ran them through with some plain white cardstock and then I am dabbing through. Now my first swatch, I kind of brushed it on and then I realized my brush marks were going to be expanding way past where I wanted them to expand to. And then I wasn't going to be able to put very many layers on and I wanted to make sure I was able to get several layers of this on. So I am going to uh, just be dabbing it now so that you kind of get the more of the inside than the outside. And the two photos that I have are of the oldest of the three kids that I um, take care of. And this is at a local family owned farm. And on the side of their barn, they've got these wings in two different sizes. And so I just snapped pictures of her the day we were there playing. Um, it's, it's a farm. It's also got all kinds of other activities for them to do like uh, playhouses and teeter-totters and jungle gyms and all that kind of stuff. And so I am uh, just taking a picture of her and she's just being cute and there's no other real big reason for this particular uh, layout other than it's really cute and she was having a fun day that day and so I mean not that most of her days are pretty fun anyway but um, I went ahead and just took the picture and thought it'd be fun to go ahead and document it. Now, uh, I did use some of that red leather mousse over the turquoise area in the bottom right hand corner. I didn't like the way it looked, so I just went back over it with some more of the turquoise paint. And uh, now I am going to be able to go over it again with just some of that turquoise blue to provide a little shimmer. I really like the way this is looking. I wasn't 100% sure how it was going to come out, but you know, it's only paper and a little bit of paint. So if I didn't like it, I knew I could start over, but I kind of like the way that it turned out. So I decided to go ahead and keep it. I did trim down my paper by about a quarter of an inch on two sides. So I will have about an eighth of an inch. Actually, I think I did a little bit more than a quarter of an inch this time, um, but that's normally what I do. But uh, that gives me a little border all the way around it and I really like how that's looking 
that black paper is also helping it to lay nice and flat because uh, the paper wanted to curl a bit after using the mixed media on it. And now I am backing my two photos with some black paper and I think the black works really well because her dress in the photo is black and it's got turquoise and orange Halloween print on it, which um, might seem a little weird, but it's, it's an adorable dress. Um, and so I thought the the red with the red background and then the turquoise because she's got turquoise on her dress would work really well. Now I decided to go ahead and reuse all of those pieces of feather that I had just used for the stenciling and I actually am going to cut a couple of extras. You can see a couple extras off to the right hand side underneath my scissors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple of extras. I cut a couple in white. I think I actually use a couple in black as well and just layer them up all below the photos, which is pretty much where the embellishments are in the um, sketch. Now my mixed media obviously is different, but she's got a mixed media background and that's what inspired me to go ahead and do some mixed media, even though mine is not exactly the same as hers. Um, and with mixed media, really it rarely ever is the same because mixed media just kind of has a mind of its own and does its own thing. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and layer these up. I'm just kind of figuring out the placement of them. And once I get that done, I am going to use this old thicker set off to the right hand side. Now I'm not somebody who normally uses a lot of bows on their layout, but I am going to put a bow in the center of all of those uh, feathers because I needed something there to kind of cover all of the ends up where they all meet and I didn't really know what else I should use. Um, I know that sounds kind of weird, but a label just seemed like it was too big. Even like a decorative um, brackety type of a label just seemed too bulky. And I didn't really have anything that I thought worked really well as far as fiber. And so when I came across the thickers that I'm going to use, I thought the bow would work really well, especially since it's black and white and pretty much most of the rest of the embellishments that I'm putting on here are going to be black and white because there's already a lot going on. Um, I don't, I don't want to, uh, make it any more vibrant than it already is. It's very vibrant to begin with. And so I kind of want to just, uh, tone it down a bit. Now I thought I'd use that celebrate today just because it's just um, you know, a random day, but I end up just using this piece that says happiness. I think the black and white is better because it draws your eye across the page more because it's different than the background. The turquoise was too much like the background blended too far in, um, and just didn't really add to the layout. So the black and white really kind of just tones everything down and gives your eye a place to rest because again, there's a lot going on. Now I do have these charms from MK's shop, Some Assemblage Required, and I pulled out the two that looked the most feather-like. Um, I actually had a pack that was, I think, a mix of feathers and leaves, or one was feathers and one was leaves, and um, they're two different packs and they've kind of gotten mixed, mixed up. These normally come in the monthly box from her shop and um, not this particular set. Well, these did come from the monthly box, but you don't get the same set every month. You get um, different charms each month. And so uh, I just pulled out the two that looked closest like feathers and I used a little bit of um, thread and I just strung them on that and hung them from the bow. And I think it looks really cute. You'll see that in the close-ups. And that is it, you guys. Don't forget to check out everyone else who is playing along with 30 Days of Sketches. The playlist is down below for you. I will include uh, links to the products that I used if they are available down below for you as well. And um, that is pretty much all I have. If you have questions or comments, you can leave those down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel as well and come back and see me again tomorrow. I will be here with another video for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.